Welcome to the Game Week 23 team review. It was a tough decision all week between holding on to Deli Alley for an extra game or bringing in Jesse Lingard for the home fixture against Stoke. In the end, that transfer was made, along with a further move to upgrade fifth defender Kevin Long to Phil Jones. And that was with a view to playing four defenders instead of three, until a suitable third forward option comes along. Prioritising Lingard over Mohamed Salah was something that could definitely backfire, and after the Liverpool man scored a goal and an assist against Man City, that's looking likely to be the case. We just about got away with selling Ali. He returned six points in the 4-0 win over Everton, but had a number of good chances and hit the post as well. So now it's over to the Manchester United pair, and let's hope they can bring in the points against Stoke. So here's how the FPL Tips team has scored so far for Game Week 23. Crystal Palace edged a 1-0 win over Burnley to see Nick Pope lose his clean sheet, while Nicolas Otamendi returned a negative score of minus one following the defeat to Liverpool, which saw the Man City defender concede four times and strike the woodwork with an effort at the other end. Andreas Christensen was dropped to the bench, seemingly for tactical reasons, despite Chelsea keeping a clean sheet against Arsenal midweek in the EFL Cup. An injury to Gary Cahill saw the young centre-back make a 57-minute appearance against Leicester, three minutes short of the 60 minutes that are required to earn a clean sheet, unfortunately. Phil Jones will take on Stoke on Monday night, and that will be the last chance for a clean sheet in game at 23, after Arthur Masuaku also let us down. West Ham enjoyed a comfortable win over Huddersfield, scoring four goals, but also conceding a consolation goal to the Terriers. Raheem Sterling produced just the one attempted assist against Liverpool, and failed to take a single shot during the game, as Andrew Robertson did a very good job of keeping the England midfielder quiet. Keeping Hyung Min Son over Deli Ali worked out nicely, with the South Korean international firing a goal and an assist during the 4 0 win over Everton. He took a tally of seven shots throughout the game, two of which found the target, and also provided two attempted assists. West Ham's Marko Anatovic is a player many of us bought ahead of the double game week, but also with his long run of fixtures in mind. Last game week was underwhelming from him, but he certainly made up for that this week, providing two assists and a goal during the 4-1 win over Huddersfield. He was the furthest man forward for West Ham, playing as a striker with Lanzini just behind, and the Austrian international produced four attempted assists in addition to his one effort on target. Finally, we move on to the forwards, and our third Man City player, Sergio Aguero, came away with just an assist during the seven-goal thriller at Anfield. The Argentine had a couple of good chances, but failed to find the target with either, though he did produce three attempted assists. Owning three Man City players and being without the likes of Salah and Firmino for this one always looked like a concern, given how Liverpool often step up in big games, and the Reds had been in incredible goal-scoring form coming into this fixture. But we'll end on a more positive note, which is that Harry Kane returned to the score sheets against Everton, scoring twice as our captain for Game of 23. His six shots on target were more than double that of any other player this game week, and whilst Everton had looked improved under Big Sam, they'd conceded four goals in their previous two league games, and for Spurs, it was all about getting an early first goal. Hyung Min Son provided that in the 26th minute, and from that point on, Spurs were relatively comfortable. So a score of 65 points minus the four-point hit is around the top 10k average. It's seen a small red arrow from 26k to 28k but with two players still to feature in the Monday night fixture. So hopefully that will become a small green arrow by the end of the game week.